What it do, what it do, what it do, what it do, soul visionaries and potential soul visionaries out there. I am your host, Sherrod Cohen, and this is the Soul Vision Powercast. You know that place where we keep it unfiltered and raw. We talk about anything from porn to politics. We'll even talk about those things you might have heard or even saw. Come through, you know. You know, I got, you know, get, you know, never know what can happen, you know what I'm saying? Today, we're going to talk about the eight telltale manipulative wife signs to look for, look out for. Uh, it's an article by Rachel Pace. And this is not just about wives. It could be girlfriends or whomever. But it's, you know, she's going to lay out the eight signs of it. Now, first of all, manipulation in a relationship can take many forms and can be harmful when it comes to your partner. It can lead to emotional distress and turmoil, which can be painful and difficult to navigate in any marriage or partnership. It's important to identify the signs of manipulation and take action for protection. When it comes to a manipulative wife, it's essential to recognize these traits of a manipulator because she can use a variety of tactics for her partner, which are very controlling and manipulative. This can lead to an unhealthy and unsafe relationship for both partners. Now, it says this article will discuss the eight common manipulative wife signs that need extra attention in your, your marriage. Knowing these signs of manipulation can help you to understand what you're dealing with and take the necessary steps to address their impact on your relationship. Hence, maintaining a healthy relationship. What does a manipulative wife mean? Before delving into the signs of manipulation in a marriage or a relationship, it's equally important to understand what is meant by the term manipulative wife. Firstly, manipulation is influencing or controlling someone cleverly or duplicitously, usually for one's benefit. In a marriage, a manipulative wife uses various tactics, such as her words, actions, or behavior to control, influence, and dominate her partner's behaviors, thoughts, and feelings. It's hard to notice when a wife is controlling and manipulative because it's often done in a subtle or it's in done in subtle or direct ways. A manipulative wife may use various tactics such as guilt tripping, conning, victim playing or blackmailing to manipulate her husband to get what she desires. It's essential to note that your wife being manipulative does not necessarily mean she is a bad partner. However, it can lead to an unhealthy relationship, right? So now we're going to jump right off into the eight signs of a manipulative wife. It's not uncommon to see a wife being controlling over her husband. However, it can be, a, it can be devastating when signs of manipulation become excessive in a relationship. I think forms of manipulation are used by both both men and women to some 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 degree. I mean, some of it's a healthy manipulation, but then some is just as this saying, it's like unhealthy. It goes overboard, and it can be done to just be controlling. But I think in a normal relationship, manipulation is kind of one of those things that happen. You know, we'll say certain things, wives, uh, you know, get sexy for you, or men uh, do these things. You know, so we all manipulate one another to a certain degree. So let's not just say it's all women or all men and it's all bad because it isn't. Sometimes I believe manipulation can be a healthy and a, a nice, playful, healthy thing. So perhaps you're wondering if your wife is manipulating you and you're concerned you're trapped in a manipulative relationship. Here are the eight signs to look for. Number one, she always wants to control. This sign needs your extra attention among the signs of a manipulative wife. If your wife is always trying to control every aspect of your life, from the way you dress to the friends you hang out with, she may be manipulative. She may use guilt, fear, or anger to get her way and achieve this. And see, and that's where men need to, I think men come into relationships a lot of times, you know, they'll cut off everything all at one time or 
you know, cut it off to the point where, yo, I ain't hanging out no more. I got the, I got my woman. I got my wife. That's all I need. But I believe both men and women, when it comes to a relationship, need healthy boundaries. You need you need things outside of one another, you know, and, 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 and I don't think that it's a bad thing for a wife to sometimes hang out with her friends or the man to hang out with his friends. Sometimes, you know, you, you have to know how to develop a, a, a healthy balance or whatnot. And if a person is always trying to, hey, wear this, hey, change this, change that, you know, I, I think it gets to a point where they may like your exterior Right. How you look physically. But then now they look at you as a project that hey, I need to change this, 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 this. And you'll become my perfect man or you'll become like the man that I lost that I really loved or whatnot. And like I said, it happens both both ways. So let's not get it twisted. Number two, victim playing. Victim playing is among the manipulating person that victim playing is among the manipulating playing traits your wife may use to get what she wants. Dr. George Simon, a consultant, says if your partner frequently plays the victim and makes you feel guilty and sorry for her, even when it is not necessary or reasonable, she might manipulate you. And it's it's, it's just one of those things, man, where you got to really be honest with yourself because we'll see it. But then we'll overlook it. You know, when it comes to victim playing, you know, it's, it's, it's like, you know, let's look up the term victim playing so that we will know what it is. You know, let's look at the definition of it. And then you'll see if if you're involved with someone that does this. Now, playing the victim, also known as self victimization, is when someone exaggerates or fabricates a victimhood to manipulate others, gain attention, or avoid responsibility. People who play the victim may blame others and avoid responsibility, believe life is bad and no one can be trusted, frequently say things like, it's not my fault, or I must deserve all these bad things, absorb comments or statements as if they were directed at them, feel sorry for themselves, powerless and helpless, Blame others for their situation, subconsciously keep themselves in the position of victim or refuse help from others or sabotage themselves. So that's that's the that's the victim playing right there. So you got to be careful. Those are things to look out for. Or let's go to number three. She's overly critical. Your wife may be overly controlling by constantly criticizing all you do making you feel like you're not good at anything, right? If your wife constantly does this and puts you down, she is trying to control you. This can lead to you feeling like you're not good enough for her and thus considered one of the manipulative wife signs. Now, if you get to a constant point where your wife is always criticizing every little thing you do or say, how you dress, think, feel, whatever, Bro, I mean, it's, it's about time that you just sit her down and talk to her, let her know how you feel. And once you've sat her down, got it out, the whole nine yards, then you have to, from that point going forward, start monitoring, is she getting better or not? Because if she's not getting better at not doing it, then it's time for you to step away. Number four. She uses emotional blackmail. You might have heard about it and thought, what does it mean to emotionally to be? What does it mean to be emotionally manipulative? Among the signs of manipulation is emotional blackmail, where your wife uses fear, guilt or shame to get what she desires. If your wife is using this, it's a sign that she is being manipulative. And Grady Shumway further says, To address emotional blackmail, it's important to establish and communicate clear boundaries in the relationship. Engage in open dialogue about how these tactics affect you and work together to develop healthier ways to resolve conflicts. Seeking the guidance of a therapist or counselor can also be beneficial in addressing underlying issues and approving communication strategies. 
Number five, she's always right. A manipulative wife might have difficulty admitting when she's wrong. If your wife is always trying to be right, defensive or angry when you try to prove her wrong, insisting that she's right and never admitting being wrong, she is trying to control and manipulate you into agreeing with her. And for some reason or another, it's gotten to a point where accountability has become just like kryptonite or, or, or like 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 a poison to a lot of people nowadays. They don't want to be held accountable for their actions, their choices, things they say. It's always we're going to point the finger at everybody else, but we're never going to say, no, I did something wrong. Number six, she's jealous and possessive. What are the signs of manipulation in a relationship? <laughs> Your wife being overly jealous and possessive is, a, is among the signs of manipulation. She may isolate you from your friends and family, making it easier for her to control you. She might get angry if you spend time with anyone else and try to convince you to distance yourself from your loved ones. And, 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 I, and I believe that, you know, this is a real thing. I know this is a real thing because men do it as well. Men do these things as well. But at the same time, you know, we speak as if it's always a man doing these things and no oh, women, women don't do these things. Oh, it's, it's done. It's done quite often. And, you know, you, you even have situations where women become um, jealous of their own children. The relationship the father and the children have. She wants all the attention. She wants everything to be about her. Number seven, using sex as a weapon. If your wife uses sex as a way to control you, arguably, she possesses one of the signs of manipulation. Sometimes she might hold back from having sex if she doesn't get what she wants or use it as a conditionally expected reward to get her way. And I've always said sex is not a payment, a present a, or a payment for goods and services, a prize to be won or a present to be given when you either are too lazy to go out and get me, get me something, too cheap to do it, or, you know, you want something out of me, you know, and you think sex is going to be the way to do it. Number eight, using your weaknesses against you. This can come in the form of gaslighting. Your wife emotionally abuses you by manipulating you into questioning her sanity. Here. Your wife uses your weaknesses against you. These are all traits of a manipulator. And if your wife is a master at these, she can make you feel crazy or inadequate and control your and control your behavior. If you recognize any one of the any of these signs of manipulation in your marriage, addressing and dealing with them is important. Being manipulative is damaging to both you and can lead to a breakdown in your relationship. So. You know, it's like when it comes to manipulation, I think the very thing you need to do from day one is establish certain boundaries, certain things that you're not going to break on. You know, I, I believe as a man, yo, you're going to bend, you're going to bend to some things you're going to, you know, because everything is not a fight. Everything should not be, you know, a back and forth. Sometimes you got to give in, you know, that's we got to you got to be able to reciprocate in a relationship. But oftentimes. When these people don't want to reciprocate, they just want everything for themselves. They won't reciprocate. They'll manipulate. Everything has to be about them. It's all about them. And that's all they pretty much care about in the relationship is how they feel, what they get, what you do for them. So brothers out here, you know, she might be beautiful. Sex might be great, but you have to understand when you are being manipulated and when are when when you're being used, when you're being abused, you, you have to understand these things because it's unhealthy for us to be in these relationships as well. Hey, I appreciate all you guys out here for listening to me today, rant and rave about my things. I'm going to um, come with more articles from from different sources to just, you know, just give information out to the brothers, man, We because we need to we need to understand that. You know, these things happen to us as well. 
It's not just us doing to them. You know, men have things that's being done to them. And we, you know, it's just nice that if we get out here, talk to one another, open up to one another and let each other know, brothers, there's 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 guys out here, man, that won't look down on you for going through a certain situation. You know, we're here to talk to you. We're here to have an open ear for you as well. So, you know, if this information was useful to you, a like share, subscribe, and please leave some comments. Or if you have some questions, hey man, just, just, just drop me, drop it down in the, in the, uh, in the comments. I'll read them and try to get back with them as, as quickly as possible. Peace. Oh, oh.